Hey everybody, it's Comphelp. Thank you for watching this video. This video is going to be about how to enable Picture in Picture, otherwise known as PIP, in your Camtasia Studio recordings. Okay, so once you uh, record a video, you with a webcam enabled, you will be able to uh, enable PIP. All right. So when you uh, I have a picture right now of what it looks like right before you start recording before you hit the record button how you enable webcam okay so what you have to do is you know have your webcam hooked up to your uh, computer or whatever and have your microphone and of course your Camtasia Studio because that's what you're going to be running off of so make sure you have all those things set up and um, just check the box for webcam I'll have a picture of that right now and uh, just record like normal look at the webcam constantly get the attention of your viewers you know they do matter and uh, yeah, this video is for them, so you want to talk to them. All right, so I'm going to fade my camera away now, and I'm going to show you how to uh, edit a picture-in-picture -picture video. Okay, so we are in Camtasia Studio right now, and uh, this happens right after you record the video, and you save the uh, video as a camera file. I think it's called. Let me see, a camera record. Yeah, whatever. It's uh, it's the Camtasia Studio file that you will get, um, and you click, you know, edit this video. What you'll get is this. It says select PIP preview. Now I like this one because it's going to be right in the video, and this one's going to be sort of out of the video. All right, and uh, I I really recommend this one so you don't have a lot of blank space. Okay, so I'm going to select this first one here, and uh, I'm going to click OK, and I like to go to 1280 by 800 when editing my videos. Okay, so now you can see that I have right here the preview, and what I can do is play my video over. And uh, it's probably a little bit laggy because I'm recording with Camtasia Studio while editing in Camtasia Studio. But uh, you can see my preview is like right here. Now let's say I want to edit where my preview is, where my picture in picture. Okay, if you have recorded with your camera, this option right here will be uh, selected so you can add picture in picture. Let's go ahead and click that, and this is your picture in picture video. You can go ahead and select modify selected picture in picture clip. Okay, and now you'll come up with all these options and stuff, and you'll also notice that your uh, picture in picture is highlighted green, or it's you know, it's kind of outlined. What you can do now is drag it wherever you want. Uh, you can resize it to how big you want, and such. Uh, if you're gonna have this open throughout the whole tutorial, you kind of want it small and possibly in a corner. Um, you know, top corner is cool. Uh, really, any corner of your choice. Probably not this side because that's where the start button is. Um, top corner is probably the best for at least me. Um, it depends what video you're making, really. So, yeah, if you're working in the internet browser, you probably don't want the picture in picture up all the time, right? So, I'm going to show you how to take off picture in picture in certain parts of the video. Now, I can't get this option to work for some reason, so I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? Uh, before I do that, actually, sorry for all the disorganized. Uh, sorry for not being organized in this tutorial, but uh, let me go ahead and show you these properties. The opacity is basically how transparent your video is. That's all that is. Okay, so you can make your video like 50%, which you'll, that's what I actually did in my uh, ISO image. So you can see me while you see the background or whatever. So maybe 75% is good, you know, so you can see whatever's going on on your desktop and also on your uh, webcam. You can include a border, which I don't think looks very professional, but you can include a border. You can fade the picture-in-picture -picture video in and out. Uh, that might be a pretty nice feature. And you can also drop a shadow. So that's that. All right, so I'm going to click OK. And now if I play my video, you'll see it fades in, and it's also a little bit uh, transpar transparent because I, uh, I kind of messed around with the opacity of the uh, video here, picture-in-picture. All right, so let's say I want my uh, webcam to cut out right here. Okay, I'm just going to say, all right, right there. That's where I want to cut out, so I'm going to go ahead and go to this part of the video, and I'm going to, hold on, let me finish this. I'm going to cut that part, and let's say I want my webcam to appear in this segment of the video. I'm going to go ahead and look split again. So now, all I'm going to do is go and select this part of the video, go to Picture in Picture, Modify, and I want it to disappear so I'm just gonna go all the way down to 0% click OK and finished and now what you'll see is in this segment of the video my webcam is there and in this middle part it's gone because I changed the opacity and in this part it's back alright so that might be a pretty nice tip for you guys 
when uh, you're editing your picture-in-picture -picture videos there. So uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to picture-in-picture. -picture. You can be creative and let's say uh, in this segment you can make the picture-in-picture -picture change um, spots, you know, you can change it over here. If you click OK and finish, you can change the size of it, you know, whatever you want with it. Add the, bo add the border in this segment only, whatever. So in the first part, you know, it's in this corner. In the middle part, it's gone. And over here, it's in this corner. Okay, so you can totally change it to how you want. And, uh, yeah, so that's picture in picture. That's, you know, a pretty general idea of it. Uh, I'm sure you can do a lot more things with it if you get all fancy, you know, like, uh, oh, yeah, switch it to different spots, change the opacity, and just have fun with it. Um, now, why would you want to add picture in picture in your videos? Well, you can give your users the image, you know, like what you look like, um, make them, make your videos more friendly, I guess, and introduce yourself, you know. They learn so much by just looking at you, you know, like, hey, this is this person, I know who's talking. So, uh, that's why in my next tutorials in the future, I might add a short picture in picture of me in the beginning of each video and then fade it out or, uh, yeah, take it out in uh when the tutorial starts or whatever so i don't know um yep so that's basically picture in picture i've had a few questions on it since i made that how to iso uh video okay so thank you for watching this video guys please rate comment and subscribe i know i say that every time but really they do mean a lot to me i like to hear uh, i like to see my ratings up. I like to see uh, what people think of my videos. I like to uh, read the comments on my videos. I love to read comments. Um, even if they're negative, I it helps me. You know, If they're negative, please tell me why this video was negative. Uh, was it my speech? Was it uh, how laggy my recording was? Was it uh, whatever? Um, tell me how I can improve my videos. Alright, so um, yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and also check out these links for me. Check out uh, my website, comphelp.com. Check out my Twitter, twitter.com slash comphelp, and also check out how to make money online like I do and how I buy a lot of my stuff that I give away or just domains or whatever I need uh, at detailsformoney.tk. Now, all the links will be in the description, so don't go around you know, trying to type it into your internet browser. Just go ahead and click the links in the description. I'm here to help you, not to make you search for stuff. All right, so thank you guys for uh, checking this video out. Again, I'm going to say it one more time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.